Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. The 76ers got their behinds whooped in game seven, 112 to 88. I got a lot to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a lot to talk about. I usually say this is the heavyweight belt because we're going to be the champions, but I'm going to put this flag down for a second because it was a total beatdown, a total embarrassment. I just want to give a shout out to the Boston Celtics. Boston Celtics played their ass off and they did what they had to do. So congratulations to the Boston Celtics for beating the brakes off the 76ers, the pretenders of the Eastern Conference. Because the 76ers are pretenders. Because I look at it like this, and I didn't even say the slogan. Let me say the slogan. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. I just have to talk my talk real quick. I'm going to try not to be too long. The 76er fans deserve, the, deserve better. We went through the process for like four to six years, being terrible, getting having the worst records in back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back years and drafting terribly from Markel Fultz, moving up. In the draft, the draft, Markel Fultz. Let me repeat that again. We moved up in the first round to draft Markel Fultz, right? When we could have got Jason Tatum. What did Jason Tatum score on us right now? He scored 51 points and 13 rebounds on us this game for game seven, right? They go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Kudos to Jason Tatum for whooping her behind us. We also drafted Ben Simmons. We all know the story of Ben Simmons, the guy that doesn't work on his game, the guy that has no passion, the guy that has no heart, the guy that blames everybody but himself for what he has not done because he hasn't accomplished anything, but he thinks he's so good, he doesn't have to work on his game. So, like I said, y'all, we as 76er fans deserve better. And it's embarrassing that we have to go through the process to be getting knocked out in the second round year after year after year after year. From signing Tobias Harris to a $180 million contract. I'm not trying to talk his money, but I'm just keeping it real. Tobias Harris is damn near a max contract. We could have had Jimmy Butler still. We gave up Jimmy Butler to keep Tobias Harris? Or was it because of Ben Simmons? I'm not 100% sure. All I know, it was a messed up situation. The GM did terribly. You could have had Jimmy Butler. And guess where Jimmy Butler is again, y'all? He's in the Eastern Conference Finals. So we passed up on Jason Tatum in the draft. And we passed up on Jimmy Butler and not signing him to a max contract. Where, where are we getting at? Where, where, what's going on? Can y'all tell me in the comments what's going on with the Sixers in their in their decision making? When they make the decisions, what does the GM say? What does the coach say? What does the owner say? And whatever they say, you know what they need to do? Do the opposite. Do the opposite of what you want because everything that we've been doing and everything we've been going through has been terrible, has been it hasn't worked out. The only thing that's worked out so far in the process was Joel Embiid, the MVP, and, to, and uh, Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey wasn't a lottery pick. We got lucky with him. He was the biggest luck of the draw because at least Joel Embiid, he was a lottery pick, and on top of him being a lottery pick, he would have been the first overall pick if he wasn't hurt. It's not a common, uh, common, common thing with Joel Embiid. Always hurt when it counts the most. Now, and I don't like talking like that. But I'm just got to talk my talk and be real, Sixer fans. Joel Embiid is a great, great player. Regular season got his MVP. But I'd rather for him to get the MVP when it counts the most in the playoffs. The playoffs count more than the regular season. He played like a scrub. 15 points and 8 rebounds in 38 minutes. When halftime. He had 13 points and one rebound. So for a whole half the game, you only have one rebound. So you only scored two more points after the first half? And you're the MVP? Now, Jokic people actually have a point. Well, not really. Regular season is different from postseason. 
Jokic is balling his behind off right now in the postseason, which where it counts the most. Jokic wasn't the MVP for the regular season. Joel Embiid deserved it. I'm not going to take that from the man. But in the postseason, hurt and just not being aggressive down low. You're, 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 you're calling for the ball at the three-point line. You're shooting too many jump shots. Go down low and get them in foul trouble. Post them up and get them in foul trouble. Getting them in foul trouble and going to the free, the free throw line and you're like damn near 90% from the free throw line in the playoffs. You can get them out the you can get them in foul trouble foul trouble and you can control the pace of the game. You can control the game, Joel and B, but you didn't want the ball bad enough. It's just it's just embarrassing. They gave up. In the third quarter, the 76ers gave up. They gave up in the third quarter. I went live in the the middle of the third quarter. I went live because I knew the game was over. Because I seen they was moping. I have kids. When they don't get something, they mope and they're sad and they act like, you know what I mean? When they don't get their way, they mope around and have their head down. That's how they played. They played with no heart, no desire. No determination, nothing. They play with nothing. And we deserve better as Sixer fans. We went through the freaking process for that. For that, that's the best you can do. I didn't even get to James Harden. James Harden. All right, what did he have? 9.7 assists and six rebounds. Lord... I'm going to say this. James Harden, you better leave. I don't want you in a, in a Sixer uniform no more. You played like elephant crap. You know that a big, a, a giant elephant, when, they, when it comes out their butt, that's how you played. Like elephant crap. It was terrible. You didn't control the pace of the game. Stupid turnovers. No determination. Driving to the lane trying to expect the foul instead of going in and getting get in the back get in the basket. You're always expecting fouls. Go just score the ball, James Harden. Be a former MVP. So I can't wait to the offseason. I hope he goes. Tyrese Maxey was okay. But how can Tyrese Maxey ball when your MVP and your and your um and James Harden balled like crap? It's not going to happen. Tobias Harris, 19 points, whatever. P.J. Tucker played pretty good in the first half, hit a few, a couple of threes, kept us in the game. It should have been a blowout in the first half, but we just couldn't get over that hump. And then the uh, Celtics made that 9-0 run and, and, and got the lead at halftime. We should have blown them out in the first half. No, didn't have that killer instant, didn't have a desire to win this game. And it all goes back to Joel Embiid, the MVP. I hate to say it. I hate to say it as a diehard Sixer fan and as a supporter of Joel Embiid. I hate to say this, man. But we might need to start looking at trading Joel Embiid. We might have to start looking at trading Joel Embiid. And I hate saying that. But while his, while his value is still high and him winning the MVP, we might need to trade him while his value is high to get the most back. Before he gets hurt again and he, get, he has no real value. I, and I hate saying that, y'all. But we need to make some moves. We need to change it up. Doc Rivers can go. James Harden can go. Everybody can go. Maybe Tyre Tyrese Maxey can stay. Joel B maybe can stay. I, I, I'm just emotional right now. And I'm disappointed and I'm pissed off that us Sixer fans, we deserve better than this. I rep this team, man. I'm a diehard fan. I've been through the struggle when Allen Iverson got us to the NBA Finals against the Lakers, going against Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Derek Fisher, Fox, the whole squad, Phil Jackson, that great team. Well, little Allen Iverson, I don't even think he was six foot and he had more heart than every player on this team. Every player on this team didn't have heart. And I'm just disappointed that we didn't do what we had to do. We didn't do what we had to do. Joel Embiid just played like a scrub. He played like a whiny baby. He played like, Joel Embiid, you played like you didn't have no desire to win the game, man. You played like shit. Elephant shit. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the only positive thing about today was it's Mother's Day. Everything else, and we woke up this morning, everything else about this game was just straight up crazy. Just sucks. Everything about this game. Everybody played shitty. And I can't fully blame it on Doc Rivers for this game. The players got to show up at the end of the game, at the end of the day. They're on the court. But he has to go. Everybody has to go. Jason Tatum put a 50-piece nugget on us. And the rebounds are sauces. He got 13 rebounds. He absolutely destroyed us. He came ready to play. He struggled this whole series. This whole series. And he balled out this game. Jalen Brown had 25.6 rebounds. So between the two of them, they scored 76 points. That's, damn, that's really good. Damn near 80 points for two players. And then they got the role players playing too. It, it, it just sucks, man. It sucks as a 76er fan to have to go through this. There needs to be changes made from the GM, coach, players. Everybody can go. Everybody's on the table besides Maxi, maybe. And maybe Joel and B. Everybody's on the table to get traded. Tobias Harris, everybody. I don't even know what else to say about this game. I am absolutely disappointed in the way they have played in the second half, given up in the third quarter. Given up. The chance to go to the Eastern Conference Finals since 2001, and you give up in the third quarter. You was only down by like 15, 14. You can still... You still got the rest of the third quarter and the fourth quarter to come back. But you gave up. You gave up because you had no heart. You had no mental toughness. P.J. Tucker was supposed to give us that mental toughness. The common denominator is Joel Embiid. He doesn't have that mental toughness. I'm sorry. I just, I'm just watching the body language. The body language spoke to me, and, he, and it spoke as if he just gave up way too quick. He gave up way too quick. It really sucks, y'all. I don't even want to get into the stats. I just know we got our behinds whooped. We got our behinds whooped. But let me get into the stats anyway, right? The Celtics shot 47%. We shot 37%. The Celtics shot from three, 44%. We shot 21%. Really? Where's the defense? Free throws. Doesn't even matter. Assists, they out assist us. They had we had the same amount of blocks. They had more steals. We had we have more turnovers, 12 to 7. We just didn't show up. The what, what lost us lost us the game was the three-point shooting and the desire of winning this game. Point blank period. We need to make moves in the offseason. We need to trade some people. Not sure, but possibly for the right pieces. Anybody can go. I'm disappointed in this freaking team, man. I'm pissed off. Us Sixer fans deserve better. I am sorry, Sixer fans, that you had to watch that bull crap. I'm sick of this crap, man. Terrible. Terrible. Like and subscribe if you're a 76er fan. I will be going live. Even though the season is over, I will be going live and talking about the Sixers throughout the season. And we're going to talk or talk and have fun. Leave in the comments below what you think we're going to do. Are we going to trade Joel B? Are we going to trade Tobias? Are we going to trade James Harden? Are we going to fire Doc? Are we going to fire the GM? Who's going? Who's staying? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I want to say thank you for vibing with me. If you were on this video watching me, I appreciate you. Thank you for vibing with me. Consider subscribing. Even though it's the off season and I'm a Minnesota Viking fan, I will be covering the Vikings. I will be still covering the, the 76ers and going live and talking my talk with about the 76ers. Man, this is a sucky game. Wow. I'm out, y'all. Peace.